As a research group, we're interested in uh, understanding the tumour microenvironment and how it helps the tumour develop and progress from the very earliest stages of disease through to metastasis. So what makes cancer research a challenge but really interesting and exciting for us is the complexity and the continual adaptations that happen within the tumour. So much more than a collection of tumour cells, um, a tumour is actually made up of many different cell types that contribute to its development and progression. And these are the cells called the stroma, include endothelial cells, fibroblasts and lots of immune populations that work together to support the tumour in many ways. One of the ways we think that the, the stroma helps a tumour to progress is by acting on the immune system and stopping it from working properly. So it prevents the immune cells from destroying the tumour as they should, or even by recruiting bad immune cells that um, help a tumour to grow or suppress the good guys. We still know very little about how this happens, so our, one of our major goals is to understand how the stroma um, support the immune dysfunction, how they um, switch off the immune system, but also when in tumour development this occurs. And our ultimate goal is to understand whether we can take this knowledge and exploit it towards designing better, more specific therapies. To do this, we're taking a multi-pronged approach. We're trying to combine state-of-the-art imaging and molecular biology techniques and modelling. And to do this, we actually work very closely with researchers from different fields. These include engineers, um, clinicians, bioinformaticians and local industry to make sure that we get as good a chance as possible to achieving our goals and getting those new therapies out there.